hey y'all welcome back to another video if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you guys today i am working with wig and tear and i'm unboxing the package for you guys they sent me a melt bin some lashes a two pack of wig caps um an edge control brush a baggie to store the wig in and of course the wig itself this is a 24 inch body wave 13 by 4 hd lace frontal wig i got my wig in a large cap size because i got a big old head but um that's besides the point y'all look at these curls but that's not even a statement piece this lace is the statement of this wig it's pre-plugged and pre-bleached y'all the frontal is like butter okay the hair is so freaking silky at the top it's insane this is how the wig is constructed of course you get a whole lot of cap size for middle part side part and whatever part you want to do you get the drawstrings in the back you have a wig cap and you have a clip in the back for extra security so this is my first time trying on this wig <laughs> blew me away y'all look at the lace it looks like god himself bleached these knots and plucked this freaking frontal y'all this is insane i'm not over exaggerating the hair was very silky on first glance i didn't have to do anything to this hair y'all saw me just take it out the pack <laughs> anyways i'm just cutting off my sidewalls about to start my installation process i did go in with my bold hold lace glue this is the method that i've been using lately only because it's summertime it's really hot outside well springtime but it's getting hot outside <laughs> um i'm really liking this method because it lays my wig really good and you know longevity period Anyways, I'm taking my little rat tail comb and I'm just smoothing out my lace glue to uh, start my lace application. I did go in with my little fan with some cool air just to get the glue set. You want the glue to be completely clear before you even pop, uh, plop your lace on top. And you don't want to touch it. When you touch your lace glue, it turns white and you don't want that. So I'm putting my lace right on top, y'all. This was the most easiest. Oh my God. This is probably the easiest wig that I've dealt with in a really long time. You don't see no flyaways in the front of the wig. It came ready to be installed. Okay. And I don't get wigs like that often, but it came ready for me. Like I didn't have to do nothing. I didn't have to tweak this wig to how I like it. It's exact. It's perfect. I am I'm using my comb and I'm pressing the lace in, into the glue and you when the when the glue is clear it's really tacky and that's what you want so your lace should be able to go right on top and you should be able to press your lace into the glue and your lace should not even move even before you put your melt band on which I'm about to do now of course I'm pinning my wig up because I'm about to put my melt band on and I would like my melt band really really tight for this portion of the install because it gives you a really seamless melt okay i'm not gonna use no lace melting spray i'm not gonna use no got to be free spray this is completely just a bold hold and the original lace and y'all gonna see exactly how it turned out okay bomb i didn't have to do a lot to it at all um i'm going in with my wax stick and my hot comb on 450 degrees and this is how i get the top of my lace super flat okay you want to use this method because it's going to get you flat every single time so i let my mail band stay on for about 30 ish minutes and now i'm going to take it off y'all it look first of all can we get it to the lace because it looked like i haven't even cut the lace off yet but i'm gonna clip my hair back i'm clipping my hair back because i know i'm about to cut off my excess lace y'all this lace laid to perfection okay i'm so proud <laughs> i'm so proud of myself for switching um install methods because i know i used to use the even spray and although it gave me a really seamless um install i feel like the glue gives me an even better install plus the longevity of the glue So 
now that my lace is laid, it's time for me to play around with these curls. Okay, the curls are absolutely beautiful. I can tell that this hair holds a curl really well because I finger comb these. I use the actual comb for these curls. I even brush these curls and they went nowhere. Okay, I didn't put no hold of spray on these freaking curls, but these curls will not go nowhere. Um, I did end up straightening straightening the hair because I wanted it. I wanted to see how the hair would look bone straight, so I did go in and straighten the hair. Actually, I wish I would have went in with my scissors and cut some face layers and kept the curls. I know some face layers with these curls combo that would have been so freaking fire and flirty. Y'all know I love me a good flirty hairstyle, but look how look how bouncy the curls are and it had no problem like going into my face making that cute little bang that i like it was so pretty and the hair was super super shiny this was before i put any product on it here i am going in with my flat my flat iron on 450 degrees the hair got really straight now this is what i call my lazy girl flat iron because i'm just going in every which way and just flat ironing as i see curls but I feel like I could have did a, a much better job. But nonetheless, the hair still got really straight. I did end up going in with some um, heat protecting spray. And that's why you see like a little sheen like up at the top. It looked like a, some product is in it. That's why it looked like that because I went in with the spray. The spray did not weigh the hair down. So yeah, I'm just going in little by little, little section by section. And I'm just making sure the hair is actually straight. So this is how I like to wear my hair no baby hairs straight behind the ear is giving mom okay and i'm a mom so this is how the hair turned out y'all comment down below and tell me what y'all think all of the links to the hair will be in the description box so make sure you guys go over to wiggins hair and make sure you shop with them period but i'm using some of my wax stick all over the top of my head because i did have a few flyaways and i'm going back in with my pressing comb to make sure that them flyaways get laid down honey because we can't do that we ain't having that <laughs> but this is basically the end of the freaking video y'all i still got this wig on right now i'm not taking this wig off it's absolutely beautiful it's so soft and freaking silky i just can't i just can't bring myself to take it off Anyways, you guys, like I said, all the links for this hair will be in the description box. Comment down below. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think of this hair. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's perfect for like an everyday wear. You can wear this for a date night. You can wear this to your, your kid's basketball game, a practice. You want to be that hot mom throwing some shades, go outside with your kids, period. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.